Hello, Peter. And what a smashing race to, uh, to get us started here, John. As I say, between uh, either side of uh, the great American continent on the Berkshire Station, Harvard University B, and uh, on the Bucks side, the University of California, Berkeley USA, who yesterday beat Nottingham Trent University easily in a time of seven minutes and nine seconds, whereas Harvard beat uh, Alemannia from Germany by two and a half lengths in a time of seven minutes and 15 seconds, having actually trailed at the barrier and at Fawley. So uh, they were well tested, the Harvard B crew. Did you get a chance to see either, John? Well, if I, if I did miss them, it's uh, not through any fault of trying to watch them, but it's, uh, it's interesting to note that it's possible that the, uh, the uh, Harvard University crew might in fact be more local to Henley than they are to their opposition today in terms of geography. But we're well into this race now. We've got this lovely tracking camera uh, just ahead of the upstream of the island. Remember, they're rowing against the stream. And uh, University of California Barclay, the blue and gold, it, we're looking at her Harvard at the moment in their uh, maroon, crimson and white, they call it. I think it's a bit of a darker thing, a bit browner than that. And it's uh, University of California Barclay who've taken an early advantage. Let's go crimson, they say, at, uh, at Harvard. Harvard A uh, are up against the Sydney Rowing Club in another quarter final. So, uh, in theory, it could be headed towards a Harvard derby in the final, but. Right now, that's looking less than probable because it is the University of uh, California who are in the ascendancy here. Maxwell Hall, Nikki Van Sprang, Jovan Jovanovic, and uh, Morgan Helen steering in the uh, stroke seat from Maidstone in Kent. Went to Oakwood Park Grammar School, 22-year-old, part of the uh, British squad in uh, the Razy the other weekend. And they are stroking with confidence. Indeed. In fact, uh, Nikki Van Sprang, you were mentioning there, 2005 Varsity 8 in the Intercollegiate Rowing Association, so came second there. And um, it's interesting. I'm always fascinated by the way that Americans uh, like to remember where their kit is by putting a big letter on the front. <laughs> um, but it's also interesting that the C for California is more important than the B for Berkeley because, or Berkeley, sorry, Berkeley guys. Uh, clearly, they have uh, UCLA. I remember when I was first introduced to that at university, and the guy said, I come from UCLA, and I said, Uckler. And he had to explain to me the situation. But let's talk about the rowing, because it's, uh, it's looking like a very good race. It's a slight steering problem from Harvard there, being called by the umpire to get back on course, but still the advantage to the, uh, the C people, the, the, the Berkeley boys. That was a, a very marked move from Harvard, wasn't it? Do you, do you think in, in any sense deliberate, or was that a, a steering accident? Well, the, the thing about these Cotter's boats is, as you can see, the person who sits at the back, whether they're the steers person or not, has a slightly better leverage on the boat. So if, if the bow person on the right of the crew, as we look at it, if he gets a little excited and does a sort of an overstrong stroke, he has quite a turning moment, a steering moment, a steering effect on the boat. So sometimes you can find that. So the Harvard guy maybe on the uh, in that boat there, you know, maybe just didn't get the balance sorted out in terms of their power. But they're back on track now and looking very good. Within the Harvard club, there is uh, a great affection for the Visitors Challenge Cup. Harvard A have won this event in each of the last two years, 2013 and 14. And again, they're, they're turning quite sharply, almost into the dirty water left behind by uh, the University of California. Well, that can't be doing them any good. It is the bow person in the Harvard crew that is responsible for the steering. So the guy that we would call at the back, um, and he has got the, the power to be able to correct it with his blade as well as this little connection he has with a rudder string on his toe that he should be able to use there. But sometimes when, you, when you're under full power, the, the foot just glides into the wrong position. You find yourself almost subconsciously turning the boat inadvertently, and that's not a good thing to be doing at this uh, level of rowing, and it's given the greater advantage to the Berkeley boys. Yes, who are, as we were saying, a, a multinational crew, Maxwell Hall from Phoenix, Arizona, Nicky Van Sprang, Dutchman, Jovan Jovanovic, a, a Serb, and the Englishman, as mentioned, the, the man of Kent, or Kentish man, I can never remember which is which, from, uh, from Maidstone, Morgan Helen. And uh, they certainly have smoothed their way into uh, a substantial and probably impregnable lead. It's, pre it's pretty commanding. I mean, Morgan, uh, he's, he's got quite a lot of experience at Henley. He was in the ladies' plate, which is the same sort of event, the intermediate event for eights last year. And he's got Thames records, and he's got four in. He's, of course, an under-23 GB rower. So a lot of Brits appearing in these uh, American rowing crews. I know the commentators were mentioning that earlier, getting scholarships over there, particularly the girls, getting the, the invitations to go over. 
the uh, winners of this race will go forward in tomorrow's semi-final to take on either Upper Thames or Newcastle University. Those two will uh, probably be boating any minute now because their race is at 20 to 3 our time, that's 35 minutes away. So uh, I would imagine they'll be carrying their boats out of the boat tents around about now and uh, preparing to row down towards the start. Meantime, rowing up towards the finish, here are the University of uh, California, who look, as you would expect, uh, terrifically united for. It's, it's interesting that you can actually see the boat just slightly bending on each stroke. There's a lot of beef in that uh, Berkeley crew. Uh, and although they're actually not rowing flat out, you can actually see when the bow's facing you, like on this picture here, just as they take the stroke, the boat bends a little bit. And uh, that's just different amounts of power on each side. The Harvard crew built around lightweights. They're a little overweight at the moment because they're not in actually lightweight training. But they're sort of two stone plus. Uh, what's that, about um, 15, 12 kilos? I don't know, it's a few kilos anyway. Difference between the two. And it looks like the beef has got the, the day today. Yes, brawn together with brain in the uh, University of California boat here. And uh, with... The deck chairs refilling after a hefty luncheon. They get a hefty reception too as they row up towards the finish line here and reflect on the prospect ahead of a semi final in the Visitors Challenge Cup. University of California, Berkeley, USA have uh, overcome Harvard University, USA B by quite a substantial margin and move forward into the last four. They are part of the big weekend, and that is the target they came here to achieve.